All right, so let's take a look at how we can do question number 10, where we have a two similar triangles. So what we need to do is identify the parts of the, the diagram where we have the similar shapes. So the first thing we have here is we have a very large triangle, okay, that has a height of 8 and a distance of 40 um, plus x. Okay, so that's this number here, and then we have the 40 plus x as one of our sides. And then we have another smaller triangle, so I'll do that in a different color here. This one that's I'm marking off here in green, which has a height of 3, okay, and then a, a distance here of just x. So when we have um, a ratio that we're trying to figure out, what we need to do is we need to compare corresponding sides. So what we can do is we can say um, the small side 3 is comparable to the large side which is 8. So the ratio there is 3 over 8. Now remember, all the sides have to be similar because these are similar. These two triangles are similar. So we can say that the short, then the length here, the short side of x is equal to the, the comparable to the longer side, which is going to be 40 plus x. Okay, so there, therefore we have two sides here that we can make a comparison, and then all we have to do is solve for x, and that will tell us um, how far um, on the other side of the net. So the net is three feet here, so how far is the other, does it travel on the other side, which is what we're looking for. So that's the value of x. So our ratio is 3 over 8 is equal to x over 40 plus x. So we can then just cross multiply and have an equation that works out like this. 3 times 40 plus x is equal to 8x. And this is going to be 120 plus 3x is equal to 8x. Subtract, th gather all the x's on one side. So it's going to be 120 is equal to 5x. And then divide both sides by 5. So x in this case is equal to 24. So that is the distance away from the net. Um, 24 units, whatever the unit is, um, away from the net. Um, and that's how we would calculate that using similar triangles.